Hey, I'm Meg Spratt. I'm here to show you guys how to install a Nitro Moose. It may not be easy your first time around, but stick with it, you will get it. If you're struggling, just take a step back and refer to the instructions. Remember, it's all about technique, not strength. Watch this video all the way through before starting your Nitro Moose installation. To avoid wear and fitment issues, it is important to ensure the correct size Nitro Moose is being used with your specific tire. Always check the fitment chart at nitromoose.com. After confirming the Nitro Moose you are using is the appropriate size for the tire, collect all the tools you will need to complete the job. You will need a spray bottle with water and a bit of dish soap, at least four tire levers, curved levers make the job easier, an assortment of bead ramps, we will define bead ramps later, the rim lock, nitro mousse lube, rim tape, and gloves. Two optional items are a cinch strap and a valve stem cut from an old inner tube. This can help seat a stubborn bead. You can use a variety of different tire stands. It helps if you can secure the stand to the ground. Part 1. Rim, Moose and Tire Prep If the rim tape on your wheel is in poor condition, you can replace it with electrical tape or duct tape. It's important to cover any unused holes in the rim, otherwise the lube may leak out, causing excessive wear to the moose. Install the rim lock. Optionally, you can install the valve stem into the rim to help seat a stubborn bead. Squeeze all of the provided Nitro Moose lube into the tire and spread evenly around the inside of the tire. Holding the tire upright, install the Nitro Moose into the tire by pushing it in with your feet and hands while rotating the tire. A cinch strap can help keep the moose in place during the first steps of the installation. Lay the cinch strap flat on the ground. It's essential that the bead on the sprocket side of the tire slides in between the rim and the rim lock. Push the rim into the tire with the sprocket side out and the rim lock down. Now, loop the cinch strap through the rim and pull it snug, but not too tight. Part 2. Lower Bead Installation Place the wheel onto the stand with the brake disc up. Be careful that the Nitro Moose doesn't slide down into the dropped center of the rim. Loosen the strap if necessary. Starting at roughly 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, begin levering the lower bead of the tire onto the rim. Curved levers make this job easier, but any lever will work. Take small bites, making sure the nitro mousse stays above the drop center of the rim. At this point, the cinch strap should keep the tire from sliding around as you work the levers. If it becomes difficult to flip the tire levers over, make sure the Nitro Moose is not sliding into the rim. Holding the tire in place with your knee often helps keep the tire from coming back up off the rim. Now that the lower bead is on, you can remove the strap. Lever the Nitro Moose down into the drop center of the rim. Part 3. Upper Bead Installation 
It's important to understand that a tire's bead is made of high tensile steel cables and will not stretch. In order for the tire to fit onto the wheel, we need to take advantage of the drop center of the rim. We do this by using bead ramps. Bead ramps are simply objects that help the tire to slide down into the drop center. We're using tire levers as bead ramps in this video, but if you don't have extra tire levers, you can use any stiff flat object from around the shop. You could use screwdrivers, paint scrapers, vice grips, whatever you can find. Be sure that your bead ramps are inserted deep into the drop center of the rim. Push the rim lock away from the rim and insert a tire lever. Flip the lever down, making sure that the tire is between the lever and the rim lock. Do not release the pressure on this lever. Insert a lever roughly 6 inches to your left and flip it over. Use your knee or leg to lock these two levers into place. Now, move to your right and flip one lever over. While holding the tire down into the drop center of the rim, insert your first bead ramp. Repeat this process until you have placed four bead ramps roughly six inches apart. At this point, you should start to feel some resistance when flipping the levers over. Now is the time to add some soapy water to the areas closest to the bead ramps. You want the soap to help the tire slide down the bead ramps into the dropped center of the rim. This will help reduce the tension on the tire and make the final steps much easier. Wiggling the bead ramps helps the soap to flow into any sticky spots. Continue along taking small bites. At this point, it may become difficult to slide your next lever into place because the tire is so tight against the rim. Flipping the previous lever back towards the center of the wheel will give you extra space to slide the next lever into place. Notice the bead ramps keeping the bead in the drop center of the rim. Taking the smallest bites possible, continue until you have roughly 10 inches to go. If there is still too much tension to flip the levers over, check the opposite side to be sure the tire has slid down your bead ramps into the dropped center of the rim. Wiggle them if necessary and add more soap. At this point, you need to prepare for the final flip by placing an extra lever. There will be no room once you flip your second to last lever. Making sure your last lever stays in place, finish the final part of the bead. Now remove the bead ramps and make sure the bead is fully seated. The bead normally seats itself after a few minutes of riding. If the bead still hasn't seated, you could use the optional valve stem we installed earlier to give a blast of compressed air. Don't forget to tighten the rim lock. Now you've seen the steps to properly install a nitro moose. Like any skill, this takes practice and repetition. Keep at it, you will get it.